Well, Chris, 2-0, oh, you've beaten South Hobart, now your traditional rivals. You've got to be pretty well on top of the world right now. Yeah, look, I mean, to me, um, I just said to the guys just a couple of minutes ago, you know, as, as a coach, and I've been around for a long while now, uh, at various levels, it's the best game of football that I've actually been involved with as a coach. Um, the the, the um, intensity of the game, the way the guys played, the way the guys battled for one another, uh, it was just superb. Um, you know, at half time there wasn't a lot I could really say to them other than, you know, look, we, we, we'd missed a, I think we had 13 shots, I think four, four or five on target out of those 13, and we maybe could have gone in with a couple of goals up, but we didn't. And it's always to be cautious in those situations that it doesn't come back to bite you in the second half. And, um, you know, Olympia had some a couple of good chances early. Um, which our defenders and the keeper did well in that, but yeah, we took our chances in the second half. Brilliant, brilliant effort. You definitely had the better of the first half. Uh, a lot of shots off target though, was that a concern for you? Did you think you might uh, fall victim a bit like South Hobart did last oh, week? Oh yeah, look I did, and that's what I mean. I said to the guys, you know, we, we, we have the majority of the play, um, and uh, you know, there were, there, we were missing chances. That maybe we should have put a few in the back of the net. You know, uh, we weren't. There weren't ones from range like I think South were last last week. So it was a concern at half time that you know we might run out of legs a little bit. And uh, and Olympia, you know, they, they're good on set pieces and they might snatch one. Um, as it was, they didn't. And um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of the lads. I thought they were tremendous. Ethan Angles is a pretty special little player. He doesn't need a heap of the ball, but geez, he knows his way around goal, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I didn't even realise he got a hat-trick, to be honest with you. Yeah. I wasn't keeping the track on who, who scored, and the guys on the sideline said that's his hat-trick. So, yeah, look, he's just he knows where the goals are, and he's a poacher, and, um, yeah, look, he does that job very, very well. So, uh, yeah, full credit to him. He's had a late start to the season, and, uh, no, he, he played his part tonight. That's his role, um, and he did it very well. Uh, a couple of notes on a few other players. I thought Jaden was really good in a, a start-up coming in uh, under an injury cloud, I guess he, he was uh, quite important for you, particularly in the second half, I thought. Yeah, look, I know he's, my son, I was proud as punch, to be honest with you. I, I thought he was tremendous tonight. I, I, I thought he, he got in, um, he's back to him, his old self, to be honest with you. Um, I couldn't fault him tonight. I thought he was, um, to be honest with you, I, I'd give him best on ground. Um, tonight, I thought he was that good, so yeah, proud of him as well. And in terms of your defence, uh, that's two clean sheets now. You've got to be happy with that. That the inclusions have definitely stiffened up your spine. When you thought, yeah, look, without a doubt. Um, you know, I, I thought in the second half there were a couple of times there where we the ball was coming coming across from wide wide positions and we were trying to control it, um, and we mucked up a couple of times. Um, but yeah, look, two clean sheets. Uh, you know, that's what we want if we can continue that way. Um, you know, it's looking good for us, so it, it gives the guys confidence um, working from the back forward. So. Two massive wins, how do you just keep their heads level? Well, I said to them to, you know, after the game, I said, you know, that it, it, they need to understand, they need to keep their feet on the ground and they need to understand that it's a week-by-week -week proposition and that they need, they need to take tonight's game and look at the way they worked for one another and they need to continue doing that every week. Um, it's yeah, one of the obviously issues with any sport is the overconfidence and you know I'm certainly uh, not getting carried away and I don't want the guys to get carried away with it. I don't think that they will. I think that their, their, their mind space as individuals and a team at the moment is in a very, very good place and we just need to keep a level head and, and move forward. Next week's game against Rangers away, you know, they are a very, very good side. I, I rate them highly, and she'll be a tough one. So, uh, you know, back to the drawing board. We'll bank that one tonight, not a problem. Uh, but feet on the ground, and we just move forward from there. Last one, uh, one about you personally. I suppose you've been around the coaching landscape for quite some time. Uh, we seen the true Chris A when he has a good squad at his disposal, what you, go, you can do as a coach? Yeah, look. I mean, the last two clubs I've been at, you know, it's been developmental and I've been criticised for that, but, you know, I wouldn't, if I felt that I, I didn't still have a passion or, or, or that I couldn't offer the game something, I wouldn't have taken the position on. I would have just said, look, I've had my day, um, you know, let somebody else do it. I, I, I think I, I'm, a, I'm a good coach, um, a reasonable coach, I'll say, 
um, and it's fantastic to work with and no disrespect to anybody else that I've worked with in the past you know it's just a different set of circumstances you know this this is a, a ready-made squad the, the other two clubs that I worked for were fantastic clubs with Olympia and Knights but they were developmental and, and it's so so much different so I'm here to get results if I don't get results um, you know they'll just you know put somebody else in place so for my sake, I'm happy. <laughs> I've got two wins, but it's you know we've got 19 games to go. So, and, and at the end of the day, we want to be representing this state uh, in a national competition. That's our aim. Thanks, Chris. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thank you.